Today, faith leaders met with the Clay County Prosecutor's Office about this case, echoing the sentiments we heard at the rally. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge joins us now with their message. After the shooting of 16-year-old Ralph Yall, his family and community organized a protest. Faith leaders pushed for charges. Deputies made an arrest. As this situation continues to move forward, community leaders are looking out for the future of the Metro, rebuilding what was lost Thursday night. It's sad, but it's also frustrating that something like that could even happen in, in 2023. We should be living in a better time. Jeffrey Davis is the president of the mentorship program 100 Black Men of Greater Kansas City. They interact with kids across the metro. You want everything to be pleasant and happy for children, but the reality is put in front of us every day, every second. This right here is what Jeff Davis says is desensitizing the children that he works with. They're on it every single day, scrolling through news of the next shooting or violence against people who look just like them. But what I find, unfortunately, is that there's a hope lessness that the kids have and they have kind of a lackadaisical well don't really matter so you know it is what it is so that's that's the unfortunate thing on a larger scale faith leaders who are working closely with prosecutors and police say they have a plan to repair relationships that we will be having ongoing discussions and ongoing meetings we're looking to have community conversations we're looking uh, to partner with my sister who, who's already doing reconciliation work within Clay County, and how do we broaden that? How do we expand that? How do we make what has happened in Clay County happen in Platt County and, of course, in Jackson County so that we can really bridge these things together and really become one Kansas City? With less violence and more understanding. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.